All right, guys, today we're going to go over how to, um, just a quick video on how to um, prepare a motherboard um, to be put in the PC case. Uh, you want to do this before it actually gets in the case, uh, just because it becomes exceedingly more difficult if you don't. Today we're working with a Tomahawk MSI B550 Tomahawk. Uh, we got it off Amazon for decently cheap. Uh, they have uh, Motherboards on there that get sent back because they're not used for whatever reason and uh, recertified and tested. And you get the same Amazon uh, warranty. So today, we'll be using the Ryzen 5800X. And we're going to slot this right here in the CPU slot uh, just being kind of careful because you don't want to bend any of the pins um, for Ryzen you want to just match the text with the top bar here uh, just kind of gently lay it on there gently move it around it'll slot itself in and then you just push down on the little whammy bar and lock it in place uh, next thing we're gonna do we have a TN470 NLIN 2 terabyte uh, Gen 4 drive. That is, I actually already cut it out. So there it is, just a little stick. It's crazy how small memory has gotten. Um, that's going to go in this Lightning Gen 4 um, slot here. And on this board, I've actually already had this off. Um, the person did use this board at, to some capacity because the um, thermal pad is already peeled on it so we won't have to do that so we'll just slide it in here like so and the proper way to install these is you have a little m.2 screw here just put it in your iFixit screwdriver get it lined up get it lined up there we go screw down make sure it's inserted there we go we're gonna put the heat sink on start with one side get one side slotted we'll slot the other side Oops. tighten that down uh, before we do the RAM, just want to mention, here's your 16x PCIe um, 4.0 slot. That's going to accept your graphics card. You just want to make sure your graphics card is always in your top slot. Older boards don't, that's not necessarily true of them all, but on newer boards, everything is in the top slot. Um, you do have another PCIe. This shares lanes with this, so if you're running something in this, it's going to pull from your graphics card. You have some PCIe Express. We will be using one of these for a Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter because all build, all my builds come with Wi-Fi Bluetooth because I feel that in this day and age it's just mandatory. And I get those off of Amazon for, I don't know, 20 bucks. So then you have your four DIMM slots here. You have A1, A2, B1, B2. So your, your preferred lanes are a2 and B2 usually here. Uh, they may be back. They may be labeled backwards, but uh, we're actually going to be using all four lanes with eight gigabyte sticks. Uh, small side on the bottom. They are notched, so they only go in one way. Backside down first. Even pressure. Click, click. Again, same thing. Small side going to the next slot. Make sure it's in there. Back side, click, click. Small side. These things are just so sleek, I think. This looks so nice. And they, and they feel good too. Good brushed metal. What do we got going on here? There we go. 
click, click. And one last one. Click, click, make sure they're all locked in, and they are. A couple other things that you might use on, that you will use, you'll use your USB header here. Um, you're gonna use your HD audio, which is down here. You're gonna use um, some of your fan headers. You're gonna use your RGB. Um, there's some RGB around here. Um, not seeing it, but I know it's on here. Uh, you're gonna, you might be using your SATA data, your SATA data. Fun thing to say. Um, you'll definitely use your ATX power. That powers your motherboard. And then your CPU power up here. This is only one eight pin. And then you'll have power going to your GPU, which is in this case is a thirty eighty, and will be two um, two eight pins, six plus two. Uh, so hey, thanks for watching. If you like the video, drop a like, follow. Have a good one.